In Afghanistan, women think nothing of giving up a whole afternoon to make delicious dumplings. Mantu are the best known dumpling from Afghanistan, but ashak filled with a type of garlic chive are incredibly delicious, especially served with a meat sauce and yogurt topping, like an exotic pasta dish with lovely spices. Once uh, the guests come to, you know, for a visit, when they know that we made ashak for them, they feel very happy because uh, <laughs> they love us, you know. Breshna Kestia says each province makes them slightly differently. Her tortellini shape is from Ghazni, where she's from. Breshna makes a dough from plain flour, salt, a little oil and water. So you have to knead it for like uh, 10 minutes. But now the techniques you're using, you've learnt from home. Yes, from my mum. Yeah. And how long do you rest it for? I rest it for half an hour. This is a Afghani gandana. It's a chive, similar to chive or leek. It's very popular in Afghanistan. So how many would normally be making ashak together? Uh, four or five ladies mm. get together. It does smell really lovely and fresh, doesn't it? Slightly oniony. Mm. Tablespoon of uh, black pepper, a table salt, and then two tablespoons of uh, margarine. So you just mix it. All the combined uh, coriander. That's it. It's ready. Beautiful. With many little dumplings to make, Breshna uses a pasta machine to roll out the dough into silky sheets, which are cut into small squares. They're so delicate. These are going to be tiny. This is very tiny, so you can change the size, you can make it bigger. See, this is like three, four ladies sitting there and they're just making these Such all together. Small little yes. beautiful yes. mouthfuls yes. you're making. Yes. Very professional. They look like little tortellini. <laughs> the ashak are cooked quickly in boiling water. Now, how do you know when they're cooked? Is there a look to um, them? They have to flip over when they're boiling. Ah, they flip over. Yes. Then you can just check, you know, one of them to see if it's mm -hmm. uh, soft. Breshna pounds garlic and salt, which is mixed into natural yogurt. She spreads a layer over a serving plate and then adds the steaming ashak, followed by a delicious spiced meat sauce, which is made by cooking onion and coarse mince, adding garlic, diced tomato and red capsicum, fresh sliced chilli, turmeric and salt, and cooked chana dal, covered with water and cooked thoroughly. The final touch is a generous sprinkling of dried mint. Oh, nice. it's delicious. They're so slippery, silky, and really exotic sauce. I love that. Across Afghanistan and the subcontinent, rich melting sweets are made by slowly reducing milk with spices and adding nuts and even edible gold and silver. The Afghan version is called shipara. When we say sheet, sheet is a milk in our mm. language. So pirav, it makes it sweet. Dr. Nuria Salehi is a nuclear physicist and biophysicist who spent years raising funds to support families back home in Afghanistan and help those lucky enough to have come to Australia to settle into their new home. She was awarded Senior Victorian of the Year in 2012 and occasionally has time to make beautiful fragrant shippara. Nuria starts by making a sugar syrup with equal amounts of sugar and water. So, Nuria, how do you tell when your syrup's ready? It stops boiling and becomes slow. Ah. Right? It's getting thicker. It sort of solidifies almost. Mm. Don't put all. She combines milk powder with walnuts and a tablespoon each of ground cardamom and rose water. She pours in the sugar syrup, working it quickly into the mix. Such a wonderful aroma as you mix it. The shippura onto a dish and sprinkles ground pistachio over the top. How long does it take to set? 30 minutes. That's all? Yes. Ah, oh, terrific. 
and please try one. The cardamom is just so fragrant, isn't it? Just mm, melting. Mm. Delicious. Hundreds of years of tradition, recipes that range from rustic to odd cuisine. There's no doubt the French have developed one of the most elegant cuisines on earth. Welcome to gastronomic heaven.